Greetings all frog here, let's play GeoGuessr. We have been challenged by an io 117 This is a world challenge. No specific theme has been mentioned. We are on the Most Slobda road, Most Slobda, on a very nice bridge. Suspension bridge, cable. <clears throat> Over a river, a fairly large river. Kinda looks like the Ukraine, but I can't imagine it would put me in the Ukraine knowing I've been here before because he's a little more devious than that unless he is exactly that devious because he knows I'm gonna double trick myself and say it can't possibly be the Ukraine because I've been there before I could see both things being true football pitches Look, let's just satisfy the curiosity at the beginning, shall we? Let's go straight into Ukraine. Uh, which is down over here. And I've been to Kiev, and I think that's where the, the bridges are. Let's just see if there's a bridge that says Most Sloboda. If there is, great. If there's not, then we can just leave it along and not have to worry about it. I saw the mosque, and I'm like, oh my god, it's not, no, it's Moskovsky. <clears throat> okay. I feel kind of okay with this now. All the bridges are not those bridges. Okay. So I just feel, I at least feel comfortable we're not in, in Kiev. We could be somewhere else, but we're not, doesn't appear to be that we're in Kiev. Can we get back onto the highway, please? No? Alright, well, I can make it happen. We we'll just have to be very careful where we click. Because I do not wish to leave the highway at this particular point in time. The Promont Group. Etno Naseli Verica U Isgradunji? I don't know. What's that? Da R S. Comment group dot rs. Rs? Are we sure that's an R? It really looks like an R. Could it be an A? It really looks like an R. Okay, so R U is Russia. R O is Romania. The hell is RS? <laughs> I'm going to assume it's like a business address. Like we have, you know, the dot coms of the worlds. Or the dot as, which is why I wondered if it was dot as. Okay. That's like four different languages all together. I'm, I'm, I'm not going crazy, right? Because that looks like Novi Sad. That looks like Novi Sad. That looks like Novi Sad. Uzhdevik. Uzhvidek. I don't know. Got a lot of different languages going on here. We're in the... Oh, thank you! Thank you! That's, that's perfectly... great. That's a great sign. We're in the city limits. Fantastic. What damn city. We're on the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Uh, also known as... Oslobedenja. Oslobedenja. Boulevard, Ustabedenja. The hell is that RS? Is there a separatist region that I don't know? Well, yes. I mean, that answer is yes. So that's not going to help any. Any other technica? Regionalna, regionalna, priv, privredna, komorar, novisad. All right, so theoretically we're in novisad then. I don't know where the hell that is, but it appears to be where we are because I've seen it on a number of signs. 
Novi Sad. Where is Novi Sad? I mean, it's a good thing by landmass that only a quarter of the world it writes in Cyrillic. Novi Sad. Ours is Serbia? Republic of Serbia, perhaps? Novi Sad. Let's check the bridges. Oh, those bridges look big enough to be what I was at on. Most Boska? Well, where's the Boulevard of Broken Dreams? These two look like the only big roads that it could possibly be. Okay. Okay, that's not it. We're coming up to a traffic circle? We're headed north, so we cross north into the town. Is there water to the south? Of course there is. Oh, the Danube. Moslobida. We were on the Danube. Which, of course, as we know, is made famous in Strauss's waltz, the Blue Danube. Which any good German student, at least American German student, would know is the is the dative prepositions? Because you would sing Aus Ausser by Mit Noxite Fonsu, Aus Ausser by Mit Noxite Fonsu, Aus Ausser by Mit Und gegen Uber. Gegen Uber is accusative, so it's the accusative pronouns, pretty sure. Lava! I lava me some locations in the volcanic belt. The Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire. It's a Google photo, so that's not going to help. This looks like a fairly large volcano. If I'm assuming this is the volcanic crater. Which I think you have to do. Which is sort of terrifying. Because that means this is rather large. Any clues from the uh, equipment? Not really. I'm going to try and go up this time. As far up as we can go. Getting closer. Hey, boys. Where are we? Get me to the car. There's like no defined trail. I just want to go up. Whichever direction you want to take me to go up, I want to go that way. Climb! That was very loud. Sorry about that. I actually got clipped. My bad. Goodness. Do we need such minor incremental changes here? Couldn't we have gone by with about half the pictures? I'm getting tired of clicking. I'm just going to push the button. I feel like I'm no closer to the top. Seriously. All I want to do is get to the top. Well, we've got the sun is in play now, so we're getting closer. What's going on with this, but whatever. There's a rift in the world, apparently. Mm. 
We're getting closer and closer to the top. I hope. I can see the trail now. That's that's a benefit. There's fishers all over the place. We are very tall. Look at how far above the clouds we are right now. Goodness. Seems likely to be a half hour video. We've given so far to get to the top of this thing. I kind of don't want to stop. Even though part of me is just like, look, just throw your map in Hawaii and be done with it. It doesn't It doesn't feel like Hawaii is kind of the problem. It feels more like a volcano in maybe the northern part of the Ring of Fire, somewhere in Alaska. There's a gentleman up there. I'd be happy just to see the doctor right about now. Like, you'd think there'd be some sort of building at the summit. Some sort of visitor center. I don't think there is. I think we're doomed. My goodness. I mean, seriously, you need about half of the... I want to go forward. Just take me forward. Please, God. do everything I can to move as far forward as possible. It's a milepost of something. What the hell? I clicked forward once and it went completely away. What the hell? There it is! It's back. It's the only time that there's actually, a, like, a huge difference. Okay, what do we got? It's Spanish. Oh my god, it's Spanish. And De La Fomaine? Is it Italian? See, this is what I don't get. I just turned... Okay, because we're right next to it. Do this. Oh, my God. That's not helpful. Maybe it's Italian. It's not English, though. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. I just want to get higher and higher up this mountain. We're at the summit almost, and we get nothing. There is nothing for us here. Why? We've been seven minutes on this guess. It's just lava rock. Christ. All right. It wasn't English. 
I'm going to go down to the, the, the... We're in Pompeii. I mean, we're not in Pompeii. We're not on Vesuvius, I don't think, but we can pretend. Look, we're on Vesuvio. Yeah, I knew it was wrong. It was French, apparently. We're on La Tampon. Piton de la Fournaise. It was French. Man, that was a long time on a guess that I knew I was never going to get anyway. This is very European. It is a river. We're on a bridge. That's two bridges. Pissafag und Rue Monster. A Bayer de Neumonster Naturmusee. German. Not German. French. Rue Monster. French was a German. That's very strange. UBS truck. Are these like reserved for certain license plates? I don't know. Well, that that is right there. I believe the French flag, unless I'm going completely insane. I doubt myself continually now when I look at flags. I believe we are in France. I believe we are in the German-speaking portion of France. Well, I don't know if they, they're German, you know what I mean, German-influenced France. Which would be, um, hello. I don't know that flag. Um, I can't think of the, the region name. Like, I can see it in my head. The region I think we're in, but I cannot think of the name of the region. Uh... Well, that's a castle. It's an old castle. Bird down, fell over, then sank into the swamp. But the third one? No, that's a German license plate, or a German website. Rue Munster. Is Munster on the border? I don't remember. Anyway, this this region right in here is what I'm talking about. The one with Strasbourg and Mulhaus. Very German influenced. I mean, let's look in Strasbourg, for instance. I'm pretty sure we're in France proper. Let's go back to the start because I couldn't get it over the bridge very easily that way. Went that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to go this way. It's a phone box. Alright, let's take a look at that map. Uh, unfortunately, too unclear. Climbing because I'm hoping this will get me out of the town and to, you know, a state road or a European road, something. We definitely appear to be in the French side of this divide.
I have no clue. Unless, I'm getting confused, it's not actually the flag of France, it's the flag of Luxembourg, which I know is very similar to the flag of France. Now I have doubts. See, I just, I'm doubting my flag, my, I'm doubting my vexillology. I used to be, I used to have ironclad faith in my vexillological nature, and now I do not. It's from playing this game. Let's go to Luxembourg. Luxembourg is very small. I don't see any river. Well, there's a small river. Put it right over there and just be happy with Oh my god, we were in Luxembourg! God damn it. Mm. I don't think else to say about mm. It's a train graveyard. Is this the same train graveyard we were just in? If so, where the hell was that? Because we were in a train graveyard not too long ago. And of course, I don't remember. Looks very similar. I'd know if we go into the middle and we see that truck. Yep, this is the same one. Where the hell was this? Oh, Christ. It's one of those, well, I'll never be there again. Why do I need to know exactly where this is? But this is it. This is the train graveyard. It's Bolivia, isn't it? I feel like it's in Bolivia. I don't know I'm going to find it. Because you have to zoom in pretty far to see that it's a train graveyard. But I feel like it was in Bolivia. I'm not going to zoom in and try and find that. I'm just going to say we're in Bolivia. Yeah, it was, actually. Not too far from where I just guessed. It was outside of Uyuni. That's right. Cemeterio de Trenes. Okay. It's a family shop with Daya. Coca-Cola, of course. You know, there's Pepsi, too. Wow, that's unfortunate. A lot of stuff looks beat up. Oh, that's bad. This, to me, looks like a location after some sort of natural disaster. So, immediately thinking... It looks like Japanese... Is this where the tsunami after Fukushima happened? Which would, of course, be around Fukushima. The answer to that, of course, is I don't know. There are plenty of tsunamis in Japan anyway, so it could be coincidental. Coincidental? That is awesome. Don't know where that came word, from, came, word came from. Am I having a stroke? I think I'm okay. No weird tastes. Still have all my feelings. Words are making sense to me. I just can't use them. We're on the 6, or at least we're approaching the 6.
We're being directed away from the six. By people in masks. I am willing to wager that that is where we are. I believe Fukushima is in the south. I do not recall. There it is, it's in the north. There's the six. Now the question is, are we in Soma? Uh, Minana Soma, Okuma, Ioannuma. I'm going to say we're right in here somewhere. That maybe we started. Came at that pretty dead on. Like maybe we were down in here. No, we were down in uh, Futaba, it appears. Hmm. Oh, that's it! Golly. Made up a lot of time in the last couple of guesses. Cool! A lot of neat, interesting locations, just a bit of bad luck. Nighty hasn't been as, as up on the channel recently as he has been, so I'm sure he had no idea that I've already been to that, that graveyard. It was in one of the... Um, I feel like it was on the stream. I don't know, I'll have to go back to the spreadsheet to find that out for sure, but that's not a problem. It's a cool location. I'm glad to see it again. I'm just happy I kind of remembered that it was in Bolivia. Otherwise, it could have gone uh, real south for me. The rest of it was very interesting locations. I had a lot of fun time looking for everything. And uh, I appreciate Nighty for sending that one in. If you would like to get on the channel, you could do so. Uh, just do what Nighty did, which is go to geocenter.com. G-E-O-S-C-T-T-R.com. You put in five locations, it gives you a link. That link then you send to me over a private message on YouTube, and I will add you to the channel. It's always a good time to send in. Um, we're running it about a week in advance right now, but uh, you know I will move things around for first-time subscribers uh, or first-time submissions. So if you would like to do so, it's always a good time to send it in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.